I consider myself a high-tech fertility doctor. I'm going to use the most advanced tools out there to give patients the answers they want. Cellmatics took the plunge and jumped into the genetic marker world for reproductive endocrinology. So they're looking at markers that can be associated with premature ovarian insufficiency, recurrent pregnancy loss, endometriosis, implantation failure. By using the fertilome test, I have thought about the patient differently. The fertilome adds a layer of investigation and possible areas of discussion to help patients achieve the outcomes that they desire. I think one of the biggest challenges when I talk with a couple who's trying to conceive and they're not successful at that time is trying to identify the why. When these techniques fail to give patients the results that they want, diagnostics often get confusing. How is the embryo developing? How is the embryo being transported? Are there factors that affect implantation? We often wonder the why of those aspects ourselves as providers and often our therapeutic approaches are just trying to statistically increase their chance at conceiving rather than getting at the why. I offer every single patient the fertilone test that comes to see me now and the reason is because when it comes to trying to get pregnant, my goal is to make it a path to pregnancy. I've used the fertilome test in several of my patients, especially when it's been necessary to give the patient a little bit more information that the standard workup and their response to treatment couldn't give them. We get into situations, often clinically, where people are at the end of the rope. We've exhausted testing, and we're at this juncture where we have to make a decision, do we keep going or do we take a different path? What the fertilome does is breaks down potential areas of investigation, primarily areas that involve hormonal receptors and their abnormalities, or inflammatory states, or perhaps an immune problem. I don't want a patient to go through failed transfers, negative pregnancy tests, miscarriages. If I have some sort of clinical tool that will help me guide a patient in a way that we're more efficient, that's why I offer the fertilome test. I've had patients who have failed multiple embryo transfers with normal embryos. The fertilome has given me guidance in these patients, certainly in one example where it detected an androgen receptor abnormality. Well, for that particular issue, I had to change the way the patient's endometrium was prepared, and thankfully that patient did conceive subsequently. If we see abnormal results on this testing, then maybe we need to take an alternate route or some other intervention. The next frontier in treatment of reproductive medical conditions will be genetics. I always go back to the oncology field because we use genetics to guide our therapies. Cellmatics has been fantastic in both physician support and patient support. So it's one of the puzzle pieces that I can just now add to the picture so that they know their whole story. Sometimes we can get the markers out, see strong or moderate associations, and then get an answer for a patient that gives them a tremendous amount of peace of mind. When I look at a patient's genetic profile so that I can tailor their protocol for them as an individual, it's basically personalized fertility medicine at last.